Hi, this is Eileen, and the purpose of this video is to show you why creating a child theme is a good idea and why it's so easy. Now, this site here is just sort of my sandbox site with lots of different stuff on it, and it has not been updated in a while. And you can see in the footer, I have this designed by Elegant Themes, which is something lots of people want to remove right away from their websites. So in order to edit that, you would go into your appearance, editor, and your footer. Now we don't have a child theme. I just wanna show you what's going to happen if I make this edit and I don't have a child theme. So let's say we remove the code and we type in website by Eileen and then I update and then I go back sorry about this and you can see I know it's really tiny but down here in the bottom left it says website by Eileen now I'm going to come into my site to the dashboard and I am going to update my theme, all right? I'm on 2.4 and I'm gonna update it to 2.5.3, the most current version as of the time of recording. So I hit update. Then I'm gonna go look at the site. And when I scroll down, you can see I didn't have a child theme, so it was overwritten. And so every time you make an update to the core files of which the footer is one, this will disappear. So I'm going to show you now how to make the child theme and how easy it is. So we're going to, sorry, go to plugins and add new. And I'm searching for there's a bunch of different options here, and I just use this one because Gino recommended it to me, and um, I'm a Gino fan, so why not go with what he suggests? Here we go. Oh, it's already installed. Okay, so then I'm going to come over to my appearance. Okay, I'm going to activate the child theme. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to say create child theme and pick a parent theme you want to use from the list below because I have other things installed here. So I want Divi and then I want to switch to the theme after this is created and check check okay you can fill out whatever you want I'm going to create the child theme I'm going to look at my themes and it's active so then when I come into go into, excuse me, my editor over here in my footer, footer info, the next time there is an update to the core files, any changes I made here in my footer PHP, my functions PHP, my header PHP will be saved. Now, lots of times people want to make child themes to save their CSS, which is totally fine. For me, I use the theme options. I put my custom CSS right here so it doesn't get lost. So there was a question asked, do I need, if I'm not um, changing any CSS, do I need a child theme? Well, if you put your CSS here, you can have all the CSS you want and it won't disappear when you update. 
So I hope this clears up some questions for those of you that have any. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to let me know. Thanks.